Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So if you made it past the intro, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like the video because you like what you saw and you're still watching. So just go ahead and do both those things for me. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so we're getting straight into the video. I am in the sink today. If you're not new, you guys know I like using my sink because my sink is clean and I am clean and it's easier and look how hot my water is. I don't have time for a bucket and all that. So I'm working with Don Millie here today. They sent me the 613 unit, which I'm super excited about. Look how bomb that looks. First of all, it looks hella silky, and it's not that super yellow 613. So I don't even know if me doing this um, purple shampoo method was effective or not because the hair was never super yellow to begin with, so I didn't need to tone it that much. So let me know if you think it did a difference. I don't really know. I was just, you know... I'm just a person that does steps whether I'm supposed to or not sometimes well especially when it comes to hair because I am still learning so I went ahead and did the watercolor method with the purple shampoo only because sometimes when you just go straight in straight on the hair with the shampoo it turns the hair gray it turns it silver it turns it purple and it's just like in certain areas and it's really frustrating and I did not want to deal with that today so once that done, once that's done I'm gonna go on with the kiss honey brown and I'm gonna use about half of the bottle fill it up not fill it up put it in the water and then mix it up mix it around why can I talk you guys are understanding me though right right uh, so I'm gonna mix it up and today we're doing a reverse ombre so you know typically an ombre is from dark to light you'll have the dark roots you'll have the brown and then it will go to a blonde but honey the roots are gonna be b blonde then it's gonna go to a brown then it's gonna go to like a black okay so I started off with the honey brown I figured it was gonna be kind of light it looks dark because that's just how color is it's just kind of tricky but I knew it was gonna be like a lighter color so I just kind of just took my time with it so I just dipped it it was just kind of getting a feel of it wiggling it around combing through it making sure that it was like coating the hair all that fun stuff so once I got the hang of it and saw what kind of color I was gonna get and all that I'm like okay we're good so I started dipping it leaving it in a little bit longer and I got the color that I wanted and I actually really like just that that was cute to me but you know that's not why you guys are here you guys want to see dimension so once I ring that out I go ahead and use I believe it was a dark yep dark warm brown and I just added it to that there was no reason to it's both brown there's no reason to start a new thing of water in my opinion so I because I saw how the honey brown was dying I was like okay I can add a little bit more so I started just basically dying over where the honey brown was but not as ugh, how can I explain it I didn't bring the dark warm brown as high up I want it, it basically it's gonna be four colors so it's gonna be like the blonde to the honey brown to the dark warm brown to the black so just very subtly it's not gonna be choppy it's not gonna be drastic but you guys can see right there it's like a little you know ombre effect so then I went in with black make sure if you're doing this step you are using regular black do you see the undertone of that in the water that it's like that purple it's warm it's brown it's going to complement the browns that are in the other shades well they are brown but it's going to complement the hair when you get jet black the undertones of jet blacks are typically like blues and greens and it just off centers it that's why whenever i've tried to use like jet black i'm like why does my hair look green or something like that it's because jet black has green undertones okay I'm learning y'all I'm learning a little bit of something <laughs> so why am I not doing anything okay that's weird uh, so I just went ahead and dipped the bottom of that and I just like literally like I'm not doing a lot because I kind of preferred the brown I just wanted the tips to be just a little itty 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 bit black okay just to give that little effect okay and keep in mind you can do this look with any color like if you want to do blonde roots and then do like 
different reds, different oranges, different blues. I think that will look so bomb. But I just really wanted to try this look. I remember um, Jonathan, I am Jonathan on Instagram. He did this a while back on Duffy. No, or did Arrogant Tay do it first? I think Arrogant Tay did it first. You know, Arrogant Tay be on it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. They both did it and it was cute. So this is the wig like two days later. I was procrastinating wearing this wig because I just hate doing blonde installs on myself because I just, I don't work with them often. So I was really nervous, but look at this hairline though. This is one of the best blonde hairlines that I got. The lace frontal wasn't too big. It wasn't like over my ears. I didn't have to like fit it. It like fit perfectly. All I had to do was cut the lace. I didn't have to worry about the ear tabs or anything like that. And I did a little tiny bit of plucking, but I didn't have to pluck because the hairline was not super bulky. I feel like a lot of blonde units come with like super thick hairlines and it's just the most frustrating thing because I'm not trying to look like a reject Barbie, okay? So I'm just doing my install. Because I'm not a professional at, you know, my blonde, I just applied the, the bedhead spray underneath the lace and then put my elastic band and let it dry. I think I may have used a blow dryer, but I let it dry. And for everybody asking in my last few videos, like, where'd you get the elastic band? It's literally a piece of elastic. <laughs> and I tied it in the back and made it into my own headband. So just get any kind of elastic. You can go to Michael's. I'm sure you may have some laying around in your house. If you have an old pair of pants, take the elastic out, wrap it around. That's all that I use. So the rest of this video is just going to be me figuring out how I want to style this. I decided to do a middle part because... I just can never go wrong with the middle part. And look like, look at the hairline, look at the scalp, you guys, yes. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing some curls, some like loose curls, and I'ma layer it a little bit, and then va va boom, we're done. So do not clock me in my hairline, because like I said a million times, I'm not a professional. And I'm working on my blonde installs, okay sis? So bear with me. Like I feel like I always get makeup in the it, it just doesn't even matter i try wiping it out it just doesn't work it's just really stressful i just want free to do my blonde installs for life okay but you know sometimes i gotta do stuff on my own so just go ahead and enjoy and i'm gonna feel you guys back in towards the end of the video okay
wraps up this tutorial if you guys have any questions on anything that I did or used please ask below I always respond to comments like I literally always do if I see them I respond so um yeah this hair did hold a curl I just like to layer my hair so that the curls can sit on each other I don't know if I've mentioned that before but for blonde hair this really held a curl like I was actually pretty surprised and also, I want to mention I love the parting space on this because it was a 6-inch parting space. And typically, blonde hair has a 4-inch parting space with so the blonde wigs that I have gotten. So I love the construction of this wig. But that wraps it up, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below, like this video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. One wish, one wish, one wish, one wish, one wish. And tell me, is it the only way that I can get you right back in? If so, then search and I'll go. Then I can have you for sure. Then you'll be loving.